Hi everyone and welcome to my next video Q&A with Faye and today we've got a really special guest Dr. Terry Wong. So Terry is the best dentist in the world. Not because he's my dentist because and I'm biased because he is and he's situated in Melbourne, Australia and he's going to give you a little bit of advice on certain areas of dentistry that will help you get that beautiful smile for your wedding day. So Terry. Yeah. Hi Faye, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, pretty good. So, what are we going to talk about today? So, uh, well, I'll probably focus on, uh, we see a lot of nervous brides and grooms come yep. and see us, so they want to have their teeth whitened. And generally, uh, we'll talk about the deadlines. And yes, what time timelines. Yeah. It's really important because yep. sometimes I think they need to really plan the process and not yes. just come the week before the wedding. Yes, yes. So, we're going to go through different options. Um, so, we're I different. suppose leading with Blink teeth whitening, teeth, teeth whitening, whitening yeah. I generally feel if their teeth look pretty healthy, um, there aren't any, you know, fillings that need to be redone and the teeth literally are pristine, uh, maybe need some recolouring, then I think teeth whitening is generally a, an advantageous thing to have done uh, because it's cost effective, it's generally a lower cost. Yeah. Uh, and it, and I, I would say the timeline is there's, there's generally various options. You either have it done in your chair yep. um, or the take home. But I still believe that in my opinion, the benchmark is the take-home system. Yeah. And the reason why I say that is that you, you're applying bleach to these particular, you can see these trays. So we need to have an impression, a mould of your teeth. Uh, trays are made, custom fit for the teeth. And then they basically purchase these syringes. And these syringes are bleaching syringes. Mm -hmm. And you can basically apply the uh, gel into the syringe and they wear that, you know, depending on the strength of the uh, material, you either wear that for you know, half an hour or one hour a day, and over a period of say one to two weeks. So normally about a two week period would give you a, a reasonable good result. Yeah. So so the main side effects of whitening are teeth sensitivity. Yep, yep. But yep. that can vary to, uh, from person to person. Yeah. Uh, so I'd say teeth whitening is very effective. Do you recommend um, they can get the ones from over the counter? Because I know the actual concentration is not that high, so it might be not be as effective. Uh, the concern would be you want it to be monitored by a dental professional. Yes. I would say because there are risks involved with whitening. Mm -hmm. uh, and you need to have, we always, uh, we have, we carry different strengths of whitening. Yes. So we normally discuss with the patients what the, what the better option and choice of the concentration of bleach yeah. for that particular patient. Yeah. If you're ordering online off the, off the shelf, you just don't have any um, follow through and really yeah. control of the outcome. And we don't want you to have burning gums or, you know, yes. on the wedding day, that's the worst thing, I think, isn't it? Yes. And yeah. Yeah smiling and you've yeah. got those red gums um and you're very uncomfortable yeah. yeah and just be wary that each country has their own regulations on um bleaching as well so uh, but we really do tell and we really recommend you to see your um your professional. professional yeah okay what's our next um so i think whitening has limitations because sometimes i think people have want their teeth whitened uh, they want the Hollywood white result. Now, mm. teeth whitening generally won't give you that result unless you're starting with a fairly white baseline of white teeth. Yeah, yeah. So I think the next option would be if they have reasonably good teeth, um, maybe consider uh, porcelain veneers. Yeah. Or what's lesser known, uh, resin bonding. Yes, yes. Now, the main differences between the two is that most people know what uh, porcelain veneers are. Porcelain veneers are almost like the artificial coatings that go over the teeth. Mm -hmm. And I always say it's almost like having false nails, yes. nails that go over the teeth. Uh, they're made by a dental technician, but the role of the dentist is to prepare or cut the teeth to some degree. Yes. So, so you're losing teeth if you're yeah, doing you, that. You're usually taking a little bit of the enamel away yeah. and then they're bonded to the teeth. So it's done over two appointments. Generally, the time to get them made by the lab is about two weeks. So you yeah. get allowed that, obviously, that preparation visit and then coming back two weeks to have them inserted. Yeah. So porcelain veneers are generally long lasting, somewhere up to about 20 to 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, the only downside with porcelain veneers is the cost. Yes. Because you're paying for a lab produced product. Yes. And also the downside is that you've got to cut, prepare some of your teeth and cut yeah. the teeth. Yes. Um, as opposed to resin bonding, which is, uh, some dentists don't offer, offer this option, but we do a lot of that in our uh, in-house uh, practice here. The advantage of the resin bonding is that it's done in one visit. So it's perfect because a patient can come in for a consultation. Yep. And if they go ahead with it, they can literally book in the next visit to have it done. And it's and done. Yeah. So normally if they're doing, say, eight teeth, we're doing it over a four-hour period. Now, 
they're coming in there because we're quite often not preparing or cutting teeth they don't need injections yes uh, they come in sit in the chair for three to four hours and they walk out with a beautiful smile and they do and Terry is the best in that area. Thanks. I have given him so many recommendations and everybody's been happy with yeah, about thanks, it. Mate. No yeah. worries, I got very biased. But anyway. So resin bonding is, I, I just think it's, uh, it's underutilised by most dentists because yes. they're really, uh, most, everyone that's heard of porcelain ears, porcelain crowns, mm -hmm. but go and ask your dental professional about resin bonding yeah. and certainly if they don't offer it, just go and find a dentist that can offer that procedure because it's a simple procedure. Yeah. And the good thing about that is if you don't like the result, it's reversible. That's right. So if you don't cut the teeth, you can remove the resin and have your own teeth back to normal. Like, yeah, like yeah. day one. Yeah. So what's another option? Because um, we've got the bleaching, yep. we've got the resin, and, and you've got straightening your, teeth. Straightening yeah. teeth. So, so uh, quite often patients have really have come in, they've, they've got crooked teeth. Uh, crooked teeth, generally the best option is to have some sort of alignment treatment, such as Invisalign. There's different companies. Uh, we use Shaw Smile in our practice. But they're called aligners, and they're a series of plates that you wear that are almost invisible. Um, depending on the degree of your crowding or your crookedness, you may have a. It may take you know one to two years. Depends yes. on the severity yes. of the case. Yes. Absolutely. So the problem is, if you're a bride getting married and you've got your wedding book, you know, book for six months away, mm -hmm. you probably need to go and consult a dental professional just to make sure that you you may to be classified. Are you a a mild or moderate or a severe case of that's crowding. That's right, that's exactly right. Because that'll depend on the treatment uh, period. So what do you, what kind of treatment do you recommend? As in what um, systems? Because there's plenty of systems out yeah. there. Systems in terms of alignment. Alignment, uh, braces. What do you generally Yeah, look, I think sometimes having control of the outcome. Um, I think with Invisalign, everyone's heard of Invisalign, so yeah. there's no problem with Invisalign. It's, it's really the degree of difficulty. It's the, also the expertise of the dentist. Well, exactly right. If things don't go right, you need something to fall upon, and um, some cases may, may, and, and also the fussiness of the patients. If you're extremely fussy, I sometimes feel that uh, full fixed braces generally can you can control the outcome a lot better mm -hmm. with braces uh, in my hands. So I find that generally uh, we have a product called Fast Braces from Dallas, Texas, which you know we're, our average treatment time is eight to nine months. Yeah, uh, and we can actually finish some of these simple cases in less than ninety days. Yeah. So, in terms of um, uh, someone coming for the wedding, it depends on the severity of their yeah, problem. They've exactly got severe right. crowding. It may take the customary visit of traditional braces is one to two years. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone doing uh, something like fast braces, they can shorten that time by half. Yeah. What What are you um, What are your thoughts on them not seeing a dentist and buying aligners um, online, um, which is um, yeah. Look, there's concerns. Always, it's about um, having the treatment monitored. I think. I think, so um, I think in simple cases, maybe they, they can have a good result, but mm -hmm. it's when things go wrong, you've got, who do you go back to? That's the thing. Who's going to Who's going to help you? Exactly right. Yeah. So there's that risk. And I think there's someone who has, well, potentially if you have some gum gum disease or you certainly aren't a candidate to start any orthodontic treatment. So I think you need to have the case properly diagnosed before you start any procedure. That's exactly right. Because we've seen a few horror stories. Yeah, story. I've some horror stories. Yeah. 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 And it's not very pleasant. Yeah. So, in terms of timelines, they really need to under, go see their dentist, see yep. what the problem is, and then really work it within your timelines. Because I know that everybody's timeline is a bit different when you're getting married. So, some yep. people plan eighteen months ahead, or some people would do probably nine months ahead. But yep. if you're going to think about your teeth, really seek professional. Yeah. Well, I'd say as soon as you know you're having that wit with someone's proposed, yeah, you know you're getting married. Very I think Jump on board straight away. And you yeah. have concerns about your teeth, uh, certainly get a consultation. Uh, the only shortest time span we could say is really, I suppose, any, any bonding procedure. So either resin bonding is probably yep. the quickest. It's quickest, yeah. Or some veneers. Uh, longer treatments would be the orthodontic care, such as the aligners and the braces, I think. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So, everybody, I would like to I'll let you know that I will be posting um, all Terry's links and on his website, he's got a really good um, um, cases that he's worked on and he's done so you can get a feel of what um, resin bonding is. You've got a lot on there the and bonding, got the fast, fast, braces. fast braces and all the links for his socials will be linked as well and his link will also be put on our website. So if you happen to be in Melbourne and you want to visit Terry, yeah, please do. We're welcoming you to the practice. Yes, absolutely. So I'd like to thank everybody for allowing, Thanks, uh, especially Terry, for taking yep. his time 
to give us that, this advice. And if, if you've got any more questions, again, send it through to my um, my Q and A through uh, my Facebook or just DM me through my socials. And until next time, guys, see you later. Bye bye.